Welcome back to my office where today I'm going to do a repotting of my uh, Dioscoria elephantipes. I believe I pronounced that right. Uh, it is a turtle back, uh, aka turtle back. They call it like an elephant's foot because when it is older, uh, the caudex looks like this big old ball and then it'll kind of like look like a turtle's like back when it um, kind of like separates, um, kind of like a shell. So if you've followed uh, one of my previous kind of like seedling uh, updates, I've shown some of the progress where I've grown, it, grown this from seed and then I've repotted it into a kind of like another container. But I feel that if I'm looking at the leaves right now, you can kind of see that they're kind of browning a little bit. Maybe I haven't paid too much attention to them or they're just getting a little bit too much light maybe from my uh, my LEDs, which are full spectrum, which I do believe, I think some of them are uh, too close, uh, some of the plants. So I have seen some burning on my leaves and I think after I uh, deal with another project that's right behind me, uh, my philodendron moon mites, uh, then I'll reorganize my shelves. So with that, I'm also gonna do like a little experiment where I'm going to plant uh, four individual ones. I'm gonna use like another aeroid mix. And then two of them, I'm gonna to try to plant in sphagnum moss. So just for, as an experiment to see, uh, does it do better in either uh, medium or substrate? So without further ado, let me just kind of hop on in. Let's just make a little mess of things. So I have these here. Uh, let's see, what do I wanna tackle first? I do have uh, some pots that I'm going to repot them in. And then I also have uh, some soil here too. So I'm just going to show you I do have uh, some soil. But first, let me pop these out. I just got to be a little careful here. I did have my... Um, finger lime that's growing as well. And I also did plant a, a new seed. Um, it's actually a citrus tree, not something that fits in my office, but uh, something that I just wanted to try to grow because my son likes this fruit. It's a sumo, uh, it was like a sumo orange, kind of like a little mandarin orange, but just a slightly different type. But let me just kind of dig on in. I'm gonna try to just kind of put all of these, just dig them out. Just lay them right here on my mat so that I can kind of figure out, oh, look at those roots. Roots are still growing really well, so that's great. Oh, yay. Roots are still doing good. So maybe it's just getting a little too much light from my, um, my full spectrum LEDs. And when you are, you know, interested in getting some LED lights, you know, I looked around, but I guess I, I just, plants are a little bit sensitive on kind of like the, the rays or the spectrum. Um, a lot of, ooh, hold on. This one has like a lot of roots here. Ooh, super long roots. All right, last one. Okay. So I'm just gonna put this back in here, put it off to the side. Um, if there's anyone in particular that I want to repot, I don't think so. So I'm going to just kind of do the easiest, which is just repot them in soil. I'll put this right here in front. So the aeroid mix that I'm going to use, it's a uh, garden soil, perlite, pumice, and I did put some cocoa cure in there. I've seen some others do like orchid bark. I did have orchid bark, but I was a little bit lazy. I didn't open it up. 
but let me just fill this in and you want to keep it pretty much the same meaning you want the the caudex to be towards like the top right you don't want to bury the caudex here Kind of keep it on top. This is where its plant, you know, stores a lot of its energy in the caudex for it to grow. And I would say these um, Dioscoria elephantipes seeds, I mean, or I mean the plants that have grown, I want to say, what is, we're in February now, so towards the end of February, I'll just say like March. So like the beginning of March, so two full months. I believe I planted these in like October. So this is four months old. And then I always like, well, wondered like, well, how long does it take to get to like a, maybe like a golf ball size? And I've been hearing like maybe like a year, a year and a half, two years. I'm like, whoa, that's a long time. So what I'm also gonna do is when I'm done repotting this, I'm gonna put it on my, on my lower shelf where the LEDs are not so kind of like, so bright on these. I'm just wondering if it's just getting too much light. And that could happen. I am seeing it a little bit on my philodendron plants. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you do, you know, you still want the caudex, the top part, a little bit above the soil. All right, so that's that's the four of them. Now, I'm gonna try to do the last two in um, sphagnum moss. It's fine. So what I'm gonna do here, I did bring kind of like a little bowl of water. I'm going to, just kind of dip it, see if I can get all the soil off, get as much off as possible. Ooh, it's got, see where the roots have, um, It's not just from like the bottom, so it's a little bit also from the kind of like three quarters of the way up from the caudex. So there's different points on this caudex where the roots are growing. That's very interesting. Okay, I'm just gonna put this to the side. And then I do have another one here. And this is only my preference, right? I just want to experiment. I'm going to have four in the um, aeroid soil, and then I'm going to have four, or no, two, two in sphagnum moss. And again, you can you can see the very bottom. There's a, a root that's starting at the very bottom, and there's a couple of the root points uh, three quarters of the way up from the caudex and down around. So I see about like three or four spots where the root um, is coming out. All right, there's two of those. Let's move this to the side. And then what I've done here is I've pre-soaked a little bit of uh, sphagnum moss. And then all I'm gonna do is just kind of fill in the little pots here. Just have it to the side. So this will be a little interesting how I'm gonna pack it. Cause soil, right, you just kinda Pack it in, the soil will 
Just move around the roots. Sphagnum moss. Could be a little bit more, eh, not like gentle, but just the way that it packs in with like the roots. A uh, little dip in the soil. That's fine. I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. The caudex is full out, so the roots are kind of like underneath. Am I a little bit worried about the roots on top because it's a little bit exposed? Yeah, but I think that's gonna be okay. As I said, I'm gonna put it on my lower shelf so it's not gonna be directly, um, you know, with the light hitting it. Uh, let's see with this one. All right, look, caudex is um, up top. Just a little bit exposed. And just like that, I've repotted them. So I'm hoping that uh, with this repot, it'll allow uh, these uh, Dioscoria elephantipes to keep on growing. How I can tell that it's going to continually grow pretty well is that I'm really hoping that the leaves will be uh, nice and green, not so brown. So I just got to keep them a little bit watered. And uh, here they are. So in the future, uh, typically what I do uh, with all my plants that I'm taking care of here in my office is that I like to do a little series. Um, like I said, I did a little series of seedlings of this. You can, uh, I'll kind of link it in the, uh, I think there's like a suggestion or something I can do on uh, the video. But then hopefully in about like another like month uh, or two, I will do another series uh, for like an update to see how well or not well these plants are doing. So I really hope that you come back, uh, check it out, uh, see the progress of each of my plants here in my office. I. I I want to just thank you again for uh, watching my video. Uh, please like and subscribe. And until next time, uh, maybe these will be slightly a little bit bigger. Maybe hopefully double the size. All right. Take care. Enjoy.